name is Michael Schwenkert and I am a biologist by training. I am technical sales manager for custom antibodies at BioRed. Um, my team and myself, we are offering custom antibody services using the UCAL technology to customers. So we find solution for antibody needs um, all over the world. So first of all, I would like to say, um, so we at BioRed, we are developing anti-adiotypic antibodies. And those reagents are used as capture and detection antibodies in um, pharmacokinetic assays, as well as um, calibrators and controls in anti-drug antibody response assays. And we are aware that using these antibodies in a clinical setting, the antibodies need to fulfill very high quality standards. So um, the poster we have here shows what we are doing at BioRed to make sure the antibodies meet these requirements. So we are working with a technology called UCAR. It's a recombinant antibody platform. So we are using this platform and a phage display approach to select antibodies. So we do not use immunization. It's an in vitro approach. So this means um, we can influence the specificity of the antibodies. So um, we have a sophisticated selection procedure to select for antibiotherapeutic antibodies. So we can select for neutralizing anti-idiotypic antibodies. We can also select for non-neutralizing anti-idiotypic antibodies and we can select for antibodies binding to the complex of the drug in the ligand. So um, scientists working in bioanalytics can use these tools to measure, for example, total amount of drug or bound amount of drug in a PK assay. And as these antibodies are also fully human, they can be converted to a full-length immunoglobulin and you can use these antibodies for these anti-drug antibody response assays. Um, this modular design of our technology enables us to generate these antibodies and to switch the format. So we can, for example, produce the antibodies in a monovalent fab format, we can produce the antibodies in a bivalent fab format, and we can switch the whole system to mammalian expression system, producing them, for example, as IgG, IgM or IgA. So this means we can really make sure that we find the format the customer can use in his platform. And so we really make sure um, that this fits all together. These antibody reagents are commonly used by bioanalytical scientists. Um, so they use these agents for their innovator drugs as well as for biosimilar development. And this means these tools might be used for a lifespan of clinical evaluation of these drugs, which can be several years. Um, so for us, um, it is very important that we have a high quality of the antibody and therefore all antibodies um, need a strict quality control to make sure the batch to batch consistency is, is there. Um, so for example um, whenever we have a new product and we launch a new product um, we express three different batches of this product and we compare all three batches in a binding, ligand binding assay titration and um, the one which is closest to the average is our reference batch 
This means all uh, future batches will be compared to this reference batch to make sure we have a batch-to-batch -batch consistency. In addition, we test, of course, for specificity of the antibodies, we test for purity, and in case, for, in case of Ig antibodies, we test for aggregation via size exclusion chromatography. We make sure we have the sequence of the antibody for every new batch, and uh, we measure the affinity as well of the new batch and compare to the um, reference batch. And of course, last but not least, the stability is a very critical topic, so we make sure we also measure the long-term stability of our reagents. So we think the outlook for the therapeutic antibodies is very promising. Um, right now there are a lot of new therapeutic antibodies approaching the market and in addition to these first generation therapeutics um, there is also a new generation of antibody derived molecules um, for example antibody drug conjugates or bispecific antibodies and these antibodies or antibody derived molecules also need our antibiotherapeutic portfolio for our clinical evaluation. Um, and um, the second part, so for the biosimilar development, we also see a very promising future. So right now we have the situation that a lot of the blockbuster molecules are running off patent and currently there is a rush for biosimilar development to get to market and to get to market first. So we see a very high demand for our anti-idiotypic antibodies for these biosimilar developments as well.